Welcome back to the Phoenix East Aviation DA-42 System Series. In this video, we will be reviewing the flight control systems of the DA-42. Starting with the cockpit, you may notice immediately that each pilot has a control stick, rather than a yoke which you may be more familiar with. The control sticks are interconnected and control the aileron and elevator flight control surfaces. Control sticks are linked to the aileron and elevator surfaces through push rods and a series of bell cranks. Each pilot also has a set of rudder pedals for rudder and brake control. Rudder control is linked using a more traditional cable system. In the lower center console is the cable operated elevator trim wheel and the electric trim switches on the pilot side control stick. In the upper center console is the rudder trim wheel. On the right lower panel is the flap switch and indicator. The DA-42 has a traditional flight control layout consisting of ailerons, elevator, rudder, flaps, pilot adjustable elevator trim, pilot adjustable rudder trim, and fixed aileron trim tab. To the rear of the aircraft we find the elevator control spanning the trailing edge of the T-tail. It is linked to the pilot control sticks via push rods. The elevator control is augmented by a variable elevator stop which limits upward elevator deflection when the power levers exceed approximately 20%. Attached to the elevator is the pilot adjustable elevator trim tab. It is connected to the elevator trim wheel via control cables. It is an anti-servo type trim tab resulting in increased control effectiveness and feedback. On the tail is the large rudder control surface, connected to the pedals via cables. Attached to the lower trailing edge of the rudder is the pilot adjustable rudder trim tab, also operated via cables and attached to push rods at the control surface. The ailerons on each wing are connected to the control sticks via push rods and bell cranks. These are a differential design to assist in counteracting adverse yaw. The left aileron has a ground adjustable aileron trim tab located on the inboard trailing edge. Moving the aileron and looking under the wing, we can see the mass balance or paddle. The mass balance shifts the aileron CG to prevent flutter and creates drag to further counter adverse yaw. The flaps are divided into two sections, inboard and outboard on each wing. The inboard section is a split flap design. The outboard section is a plane flap design. The two sections on each side are interconnected by a tongue slot ensuring they move as one. When the flaps are moved to the approach position, the surface moves to a 20 degree position. When set to the landing position, the surfaces move to a 42 degree position. The flap operating speeds are as follows. Below 133 indicated, flaps approach, and below 113 indicated, flaps landing. The flaps are actuated by an electric motor and each section is connected to its own push rod. Thanks for watching the Phoenix East Aviation DA-42 Systems Flight Controls. Please remember to like and subscribe to continue to find more videos like this one. We hope it helps your studies, and we will see you next time.